Hi, this is a short video, but not an actual short. It's proper aspect ratio, it's a regular video, but it's short, but not a short. This is a follow-up. I did a video on some portable TVs, and Casio, this has been mentioned by many people, their line in, their video in, is weird. It's blown out and there's a problem when people play with resistors. I did a video where I found if you put a resistor in series with the video signal at about 2.8 kilo ohms, it looks okay. And I, I, I've been thinking about that for a while because that seems wrong. And then it dawned on me. Composite video has an impedance of 75 ohms. What that means is that the cable you use has an impedance of 75 ohms and where the video terminates, the device will have an internal 75 ohm resistor. When I went to measure the video input on this, I got about half a mega ohm and it starts at around a meg and starts to drop. So I'm mostly just measuring capacitance. It's a high impedance input. I actually ran into a similar type issue, but different with the HDMI to RF modulator where they actually had a resistor that they didn't need, which was bringing the video signal down. This is the opposite problem. High impedance inputs do exist and they exist for a reason. A lot of professional gear will actually have a switch on the back to enable and disable the terminating resistor. If you want to daisy chain monitors together, you put the terminating resistor at the end, the last monitor that's connected to prevent reflections and noise and, and stuff like that. But you can't have it on every single monitor or it just pulls the video down. You have four 75 ohm resistors in parallel. So this doesn't have an internal pull down resistor. I have a video pattern on here not sure why the camera's not syncing to it. It must be the backlight on this. And uh, I'll show what it's supposed to look like up here. And as you can see, even when I adjust the brightness, like it's just blown right out. So what I've done is I put together a little contraption that takes a 75 ohm terminating resistor, again, BNC professional video equipment. You can put a bunch of monitors in parallel all the way along and then you terminate the, the monitor at the end either by switching on the internal uh, terminating resistor or just adding your own. So here's a splitter. I have RCA video in, RCA video out, and it puts a 75 ohm terminating resistor in there. So let's see what that does. Look at that. Again, not perfect. There's actually a bit of color where there shouldn't be any, but these were never very good. These are pretty cheap, pretty garbagey picture on them. So this is pretty good for the TV itself. And if I try and remove this resistor one-handed, ah, you'll see the difference. It washes out. So that's what happens when you don't have a terminating resistor on the end of the line of the video signal. So uh, for anyone who has one of these little Casio portable TVs, there are dozens of us, and they want to watch a composite video signal on it, all you need to do is take a 75 ohm resistor and tie it between the ground and the signal. Uh, I'll put a little schematic up there. And as for why they did this, there's a couple reasons they could have. First, to make a proprietary cable to sell and, and you know, kind of do that devious, underhanded thing, right? Oh, you got to buy our proprietary cable. But I think it's different. Imagine this is from around the year 2000. So imagine handheld TV devices, they're monitors, right? This, this without a tuner. It just takes a video input for testing out security equipment, a handheld little LCD monitor that will take in a composite video signal for you to test out cameras, right? To, to, to go and see. Something like this. This is a little handheld LCD monitor from, you know, looks looks fairly old, hard to tell with this sort of stuff. And it has a video pass-through, right? So if it has a video pass-through, you wouldn't expect a terminating resistor on the inside. And you know it wasn't made by Defender Security, so maybe Casio made this sort of stuff for other brands. Now, if you're using that, you don't want an internal terminating resistor because you're going to mess with things. You want to have a high impedance input that you can just sort of place on there and make sure everything's okay. You see what they see. Defile what I defile. So I'm wondering if this video input was dual purpose and there was a similar TV to this sold in the commercial industry and that's why it doesn't have a terminating resistor. Again, it seems silly that they would have made custom cables instead of just putting a resistor in there. But I, I don't know, I, I, that's, that's my best guess. Let me know if uh, you know any more about why this would be that way. So anyway, I hope this was useful. 
And to kind of correct my weird misinformation on my previous video, this makes a lot more sense from a technical standpoint. So I was going to leave it at that. Wanted to make a short video, but no, that's just mean. Let's actually build a cable that will fix this problem. So to start with, you need a 75 ohm resistor, which is not in any of the easy to find E series of numbers. Uh, e series being the um, like E6, E12, when you see 220 ohm, 330 ohm, blah, blah, blah. But what you can do is you can parallel a 100 ohm resistor with a 330 ohm resistor, which gives you pretty much 75 ohms. Math checks out, 77 ohm. That is perfectly fine. I really gotta buy more of these clip leads. These were adding quite a bit of resistance um, when it comes to precision stuff. These are crap. I bet you these are those copper plated steel wires that Matthias Wendell did a video on. Yeah, I need to buy some more good quality ones because I'm running out. My green ones are the good ones. These yellow ones are crap. All right, so here's the sacrificial Y cable. Uh, I have determined that on this particular TV, so I have the resistor in there and I have my Golden Girls DVD test pattern that I can use. So if I disconnect my resistor, it goes all wonky. So I have it wired here like that. So um, the left channel, the white wire is audio. The right channel, which is red, is the video, which I have going through there. So now we just need to determine what the easiest way is to get at the wiring in here and put those resistors in place. Now, really, we want the resistor to be as close as possible to the TV because it is a terminating resistor. So it'll probably work fine if you put it at this end, like the, the source of the video, but you, you might get more noise. It might get a little bit ghosting or I don't even know it. To do it properly, we got to put it at the headphone jack side. All right, step one, I've gently taken a knife and I've skinned off the outer insulation. You can see the shield and inside of that there's more insulation and then the conductor for the red wire. And now I've used a little screwdriver to separate the shield from the inner conductor. Apologies for the slightly shaky cam. I ended up pulling a little bit of insulation back, a little bit more, and I've twisted the resistors around this wire, the little piece that I exposed, kind of twisted them together so they're actually being physically held. I'm just going to dab some solder on there and then cover it with electrical tape. Heat shrink would be ideal, but heat shrink would require that I cut pretty much this whole thing because you'd want to put an outer heat shrink on it. I'm kind of going the janky way. Uh, you could choose to do heat shrink, you know, if you want to make this a little bit better, but uh, I don't have any in stock that would fit anyway, so electrical tape it is. No matter how quick you are with the iron, you'll always melt a little bit of this insulation. Super low temp uh, melting point, this stuff. She's ugly, but let's see if it works. Looks good to me. Let's get that viewing angle. There we go. Perfect. And done. There it is. So there's a little Y cable with the resistor now in line, and it's got a good picture. So uh, this video ended up going a little bit long building this, but uh, yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching. Bye.